Hi. Hello. How you doing? I'm good. How are you doing? Woo. <laughs> I feel like it's been a week. It's yeah. And I mean, like the rush is starting now or it's really, really starting for KubeCon. Yeah. So um, it's been a week. It's been a week. It's been like, it's been rushy, but also slow. Definitely on the CNCF side, people are um, people are moving slow. Yeah. Uh, given. Howdy. Hey, Josh. Hey, hey. The um. <clears throat> yeah. Well, people a little distracted, but. Yeah. I figure we might as well meet because it's not like anything in the election counts is going to change in the next hour. <laughs> and and why I, I know that people love compulsively hitting refresh, it's not actually helping anything. <laughs> that is that is my favorite pastime, actually. It is. I've been spending yeah. a lot of time hitting refresh this last uh, week. See, whereas I scheduled a whole bunch of things that I had to do for work and at home this week in order to force myself to only check the results like once every three or four hours. <laughs> No, I rearranged my whole schedule so that I could stay up all night and watch the results come in because they're not in a time zone that's friendly to me. But Pain. After, after Brexit, like you look at the polls and I went to bed and I was like, oh, you know, it's going to get remain. That's what all the polls say. It's like, you know, by a mile. And I woke up the next morning and I was just like, <gasps> what? And then after that, I was like, I'm not, I'm not doing that again for anything important. Like, I don't want to, I don't know. It doesn't help anything. My constantly yeah. refreshing, but and staying up all night but the um yep so anyway and besides which given what i need to work on for this sig this week given what's going on in the us this week it's kind of nice to be writing governance documents where i can actually recommend <laughs> good practices <laughs> deep, deep cut <laughs> the, uh, <That's> amazing <laughs> so yeah um okay um so we don't have any projects dropping in right now no. um it's actually been kind of nice we've had projects dropping in on several of our meetings yeah um, and i hope that continues so yeah. so yeah. we had mentioned we had mentioned this why don't we just do it um or should we do the should we do the hey we're meeting we're a meeting stuff yeah let's do that really quick <laughs> hello hello everyone today is November fifth this is the biweekly meeting for CNCF SIG contributor strategy this is a meeting that will be recorded and available on the internet later so please be mindful of what you say and do please be sure to adhere to the CNCF code of conduct and uh, in general just be awesome people. Okay, done. Okay, cool. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, so, so yeah, we were we had mentioned kind of in passing. Uh, what if we just made the so our every other meeting was going to be kind of like the uh, yeah. office hours. What if we just called that maintainer circle and kept it moving? Sure. The, I mean, uh, I had another vision for maintainer circle than that, but. If that's what y'all want to do, then so be it. That sounds kind of defeated. Let's <laughs> talk through that. <laughs> yeah, my bad. I've been absent because I've been doing amazing things for Kubernetes at Apple, uh, which is awesome. And yeah, we've got amazing things going on. And we're gonna and you're gonna dish. Uh, yeah, Elena will talk. Con. Yeah, Elena will talk a lot about it at KubeCon. So that we've also been getting ready for that. So we've got a ton of people speaking as well. Um, so yeah, no, good things, good things for the sustainability of the project for sure. But anyway, so that means that I've been absent. Um, however, I definitely am back now, and I'm ready to finish out the out the year with the community. Uh, which means I would love to to kick things back up with um, with everything that I have due, which is a maintainer circle, B the recruiting uh, playbook, and then C the uh, the um, 
the community management requirement for graduation. Um, so those are the things that I'm like really gung ho about right now. Um, but if there's been further developments with maintainer circle without me, like let's talk about it and collaborate and see how we've, how we've grown and, and whatnot. Um, I mean, I don't necessarily think it needs to be some one size fits all thing. Um, but please go ahead. Yeah, no, we're actually, nothing has happened. You, have, you haven't missed anything. Yeah. Um, I think, I, I think everyone's been generally busy. Um, so yeah, we can circle back to what you wanted. Out of okay. Yeah, I was like, I was envisioning break rooms and small discussions, kind of like what we do here now with individual groups, but a lot of different maintainers from different groups, um, which then the conversation would get a little wild. So um, I was mean, I was envisioning breakout rooms and discussions and things like that. Um, from way back in the day, way in the beginning of this year. Um, but yeah, no, I do. I have some awesome, amazing people queued up too for topics. Um, but I know that this group really wanted the inclusive language topic to go first. So, um, so yeah, so what we actually, um, I think maybe it's a few meetings back, what we had landed on was we, we kept coming back to like burnout, right? <laughs> and just talking about like, uh, maintainer s sustainability. Um, so we were thinking maybe we do that as the first topic. Um, the contributor, uh, bleh, no, the inclusive naming initiative is planned to have its first community meeting at KubeCon. So it's going to be that Thursday morning, depending on your time zone. Um, so we can come to that if people are interested as a first step, just to like show show out in force um, and then and then kind of take the topic into contributor strategy as we need to. It doesn't need to be a, a, the first topic, so. Okay. All right, so I will continue to work on getting us some presenters for a burnout topic and then I'll line up and schedule the rest of the speakers bi-weekly based off of the R off weeks. Um, if that's cool with everybody. And then I'll work with Amy to start to get communications together. Um, I don't think, yeah, I don't see her on the line right now. Um, but yeah, and I'll work with Amy to start getting communications together around that, meaning talking about and introducing the fact that Maintainer Circle will be bi-weekly uh, and how you sign up and blah, 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 blah. Yeah, so, cool. Yeah. Should cool. we have like a running form to drop topics into? Or somewhere. Yeah, I've just I've just been using GitHub issues, so that's okay. where all the issues. That's where all they all are now. I mean, I can definitely organize that in a better way, or we could put an issue template together. All ears. I mean, this is you're looking at the the bottom of the foundation of the of the thing. Any anything can be changed at this point. <laughs> so yeah, no. As as it stands at ten thirty eight a.m. Pacific time. Uh, we are collecting issues in uh, GitHub issues, or I'm sorry, collecting topic ideas in GitHub issues. But yeah, totally down for a more cohesive uh, approach if you have suggestions. I mean, I think that's fine. Okay. But just, you know, just allowing people to drop in and, and say what they want to say. Cool. Yeah, so are we looking at this time slot or the time slot that um, Amy has for Project Sync? Uh, the last was this meeting this time. And then Amy said she was keeping that Project Sync for Project Sync. Okay. That's the other time on like Thursday mornings or something, right? Yeah. Uh, Tuesday mornings, I think. I think it's Tuesday. Tuesdays? Yeah. I'm totally okay with whatever. Just point somebody point me to a time that we can lock in. That would work best. 
I think it's I think it's fine to keep this time and just alternate for now. It's like it the I mean the upside is that it's already in the calendar, right? So <laughs> Yeah, though, if we want to do maintainer circle stuff biweekly, then do we want to basically have this on the calendar every week and every other week it's going to be maintainer circle and then the succeeding week it's going to be um, half an hour of actual SIG stuff? Yeah. Is that how we want to do things? Uh, yeah. I was thinking we were going to do an hour and a half for maintainer circle. Okay, well, I mean, whatever. I'm just saying... <laughs> I'm saying if we're using this time slot, yeah. right? And you want to have maintainer circle every two weeks. Yeah. Then we should move this time slot to weekly so that on alternate weeks, we can have coordination meetings. Yeah. I'm okay with that. Sure. Okay, is do we have anything else on maintainer circle? Nope, not at this not at this time. Okay. So uh, next thing on our agenda is um, um, prep for our mini micro paperwork workshop. Um, the, um, we've done, Dawn, Carolyn, and I have done the recording. Um, now there's two other things. One is to potentially get more materials for projects prepared to, the, you know, whatever we can get put together in the next two weeks. Um, and then the other thing is, of course, to get project, um, leaders to show up at it. Um, I already plugged the session in the TOC meeting on Tuesday, but that meeting was extremely lightly attended. So I'm, I don't know that necessarily um, anybody um, um, that'll have actually gotten the word out. Um, uh, you know, beyond that, I think we can all sort of individually socialize it. Um, we're going to ask Amy to send something out to the projects. Yeah. Yeah, I think that would really help if we could kind of get the word out for like, especially like sandbox projects and let them know that we're here to help. When's the next project sync with Amy? Because that would be a perfect plug because I think that they have to check in there, right? No, no, they only show up at project no. sync if they need something. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, that still could be a good check-in point for yeah. us. So, um, okay. And so that'll only work if there's a project sync next week. Um, so check the calendar. Okay. Um, uh, the um, any other ideas for? Because I mean, like one of the other things is one of the groups we want to reach that's rather amorphous is leaders of projects who are thinking of applying for sandbox. Um, and and there's no concrete way to reach those people because they're not CNC projects yet. We could lurk on the TSC proposals, I guess. Yeah, and especially hit up hit up some stuff on CNCF Slack. Yeah. Okay. Um, so for preparing other stuff, what I have planned to get ready before KubeCon 
is number one, I'm currently working on three templates for three different forms of project governance for the templates repo. Um, looking over CNCF projects, the three most common forms of governance are sort of simple maintainer, council maintainers. Um, uh, composite projects, and that's where the project has a bunch of sub projects. And then the technical leader of each sub project is a member of some kind of council. And, um, and then steering committee elections. And so um, I'm writing generic template documents for each of those forms um, for um, uh, the templates directory. Um, it's extremely difficult to write completely generic governance documents um, because you pretty quickly get into a decision tree of if you do this and if you do that. Um, so I'm gonna get that those done probably tomorrow. Um, I, and then I'll ask people to review them. I'd like to have them available for the micro paperwork session. So if we can look at getting them in on a sort of MVP basis, um, rather than this is the perfect template for this kind of governance, because for one thing, I don't think the perfect template for type of governance X is actually achievable. Um, the, um, uh, the other thing is I have a document I wrote for another publication, which is just sort of a list of all the different kinds of paperwork that a project will commonly want to have. I've been cutting and pasting that to fit in with the CNCF requirements and the structures we have for the rest of our documentation. Um, and I'm gonna try to get that finished for the paperwork session so that even for types of paperwork where we don't have a full advisory document or a template, we at least have a paragraph saying, hey, you're probably gonna want this. Um, is anybody so, else working? Yeah. So, some of the governance documents that are in the resources guide are actually really beautiful. And I was wondering if we could adopt some of those. Um, so some of the, there's like a, there's like, re, there's like governance checklists and some of them are really beautiful. Like I can bring up them now, like, like sustain, uh, like sustain OSS, they have a governance checklist. Um, and they're really for, like thoughtful and like they would be great for like a workshop. Um, I don't know if y'all thought about that kind of style. Uh, and like there's one one of them that's linked as well is like a work there's like a governance workshop and it's the curriculum of the governance workshop. Um, that looks like it could be sort of a plug and play to like what we've already done and stuff. Hold on, let me I'm gonna get some of the links out. Yeah, I had the governance checklist in linked in the template. Um, for the this the um, KubeCon workshop itself, we're actually focusing on the requirements checklist. Um, the, um, and that's actually led to something else I put further down on the agenda, but, um, so we are focusing on a checklist. It's the CNCF requirements checklist for, for different levels of maturation. Uh, and then what we focus on in detail is going to depend on who shows up. The, um, we have, what was it? We had 12 minutes of video and the 12 minutes of video sort of focuses on that checklist and the general requirements. Um, and then the rest of it's going to be Q&A. So that yeah. That's cool. <laughs> yeah. If you have if you have other stuff that should be included in a template then please link me that and if it's not already in the resources document, obviously it should go in the resources document. I just dropped it in the chat. Uh, not the chat, sorry, um, in the notes. 
Paris route to the Vatican. Okay. I like how this asks you quite like it prompts them yeah. to, to think about it mm-hmm. and ask in a question way. So it's just like, um, let's talk about your decision making model. Like, how do you want to make decisions? Um, I don't know. That's why I saw that and I like mm-hmm. I thought that was wonderful. Yeah. Yeah, that's really well done. Yeah. I like kind of love this. So. I really like this. Yeah. So I was like, we should just like a, you could almost adopt, not adopt it, but pretty much adoptive, a plug and play with some of the stuff that you, like all the work that's on, like some of the stuff that's already been going on, you know what I mean? To like make it ours, if you will, but from a general, a general sense. I don't see a license on this. Is this CC? I right think, it let me, yeah, it's in their repo. Let's look at their repo. What it was, Zach. Yeah, their website says that the contents on the site is CC by SA. Mm-hmm. I mean, I was planning on just referring to the website, though, because the um, that whole um, thing is actually helpful, and I don't see any particular mm-hmm. reason to copy it. Yeah, it's only if we wanted to add some CNCF specific stuff to it. Yeah. I feel like I can work at it's least not. all the CNCF. Yeah. All the CNCF specific stuff I have so far, I can work into the templates. Honestly, most of the CNCF stuff does is it limits some of the decisions you need to make, right? Yeah. Like you don't need to come up with a whole structure for managing your IP because the CNCF does that, right? You just need to designate who's allowed to tell the CNCF what what to do. Um, the um, And you don't have to decide which COC to have, you know, those sorts of things. You just have to decide whether you're going to have a COC committee or whether you're going to leave it up to the Linux Foundation. The um, so yeah, I mean we could have our own decision tree based on this one. Um, that would be almost that would be almost kind of cool too, like from a mm-hmm. like a future like what CNCF does, like what a foundation does for you in this. Go- you know what I mean? It's mm-hmm. that that would be really cool to see, kind of a visual as well. Um, that was probably not helpful but I'm <laughs> no i mean um, the, like the the side yeah. by side of like seeing like answers to those questions and yeah whether or not you have to deal with them would be awesome i think you know as uh, I, I think a few of us have done um proposals for projects to the cncf at this point and <laughs> words i there are words um i i didn't know what i was doing <laughs> this is a short version <laughs> Uh, of it and uh there's there you know there's quite a bit of digging that you have to do to kind of like put the pieces together in the right way um there are there is a template now right there's a template for proposals um an expectation of doing a pr um but it's still hard i would say Okay. Anyway, I'll get those templates done in time for KubeCon. Don't know that I would get something like a decision tree based on the sustain OSS material done in time. Anything you do will be wonderful, Josh. Yeah. So, boop. (laughs) 
the um, I do have to say one of the dismaying things is I said, okay, well, first, what I'm going to do for copying text is I'm just going to look through the governance documents that we have for all of our established projects, and and you know pull out common elements. And the thing is, even when the workflows are more or less the same, the wording is completely different. <laughs> the um, so um, the um, it's going to be interesting. The uh, so okay. Um, oh, where are we in the agenda here? Um, oh, so my other question is, is anybody else going to have time to prepare anything either in the way of advisory documents or templates that we don't have finished at this point? Can I ask a lazy question to the chair? Uh, when's KubeCon again? <laughs> <laughs> two weeks. It's two weeks away. All right. Uh, hold on. Yeah. No, yeah. It's at the 17th. I yeah. 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 Hold on. 17 through the, I mean, it's on my, okay, yeah, it's on my yeah. calendar. So I was like, let me just ask a lazy question. I'm like, just wait. A, just a week and change away. I can't believe it. It's, it's yeah. Whoa. Like, uh, yeah. So I do have time for some doc review, but like as we get into the middle of next week, it's. Yeah. If you give yeah. me specific you have, tasks. You have rather more duties around KubeCon, Stephen. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> the, um, most of the stuff that I'm doing for KubeCon is already done because we have to do everything in advance. Fair. <laughs> the, uh, that, this is not true for you. Okay. Oh, hey, Charles. Um, the, I'll have um, time to do some reviews. I don't know that I have time to do any, um, any new stuff. I am still sort of on the hook to do. Uh, apparently, scared Charles away. Um, I'm still <laughs> on the hook to do the charter and if i get time i will try to do that next week but i'm, I'm not convinced i'm gonna have time to do it okay the um cool yeah, um i would i would say at this point like some of our only focuses should be whatever we've got to get out of the door for kubecon and then <laughs> and then pick it back up when we're done. Yeah, what do you, I can do you want to give me a task? Like what do y'all need what do you need to do? Yeah, well one of the things I was gonna ask, um, Carolyn, you were working on a uh, contributor ladder template. Is that likely to be done in time for KubeCon? No, not really. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Um yeah, because I was I was working out with somebody else, um, Karen. And so we we still have more to go on that. And I don't really want to try to Shove something through on time for KubeCon. Do you want to give, what if we give like some of the resources um, and say like that a template's coming? It's almost like a look at these that we endorse and then a template that we're working on is coming. Uh, yeah, we can try to figure that out next week, I think. Try to pick a, something we endorse. <laughs> They're pretty all over the place, to be honest. Well, I know that's when, like, if we give like a list of like five to eight, and we say like, here's some that we think are good for those community groups, and not necessarily oh, like. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, no, if we don't have to pick just one, yeah. The yeah, 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 yeah. Karen's yeah, exactly. already identified some, so. You can yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and those are on the resources, uh, the resources guide that we have in the in the GitHub repo too. Mm -hmm. So. Um, if we want to just like review that too, Josh, you could pretty much use anything that's on there. Yeah. If like we, if you, if you have to fill in gaps, meaning like, and, yeah. and say like, you know, more templates coming, TBD kind of TBD. thing. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I think that's fine. Yeah. Yeah. Just seeing what materials we can get together before the session. Um, other than the resources which we already have. And also, obviously, this would be a call for, hey, if there's stuff we haven't added to that resources list yet, we should. Come on down, yeah. Yep. Um, the, um, so, um, you know, just so that we will have stuff, because if people ask a particular question and they want to say, hey, you know, do you Check have an example of, you know, we've been, we've been working on our... Um, Oh, I don't know. We've been right, you know. We're we've been working on our um, it's a piece of paperwork we need on our DCO. Um, 
Do you have an example of that? So. Cool. I don't even know what yeah. Flux does. So. Oh, nice. VM. S some CICD things, I think, right? Kind of lost track where we are in the agenda, but I just wanted to let people know that you have a PR open that needs someone to review it. You need Paris. Yay, something. link me. Yay. Woo! Okay. I'm like, yay! Stuff. <laughs> I'm like, my first stuff. Yeah! Sorry, I'm muting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this takes um, the good first issue labeling stuff that I did for community Kubernetes community a couple years ago um, and refreshes it because it, you know, we have more ideas now uh, and kind Sweet. of made it not specific to Kubernetes. So that's what this is. Sweet. Yeah, and I actually like this better than the Kubernetes one, by the way. And I will absolutely say that on the recording. Um, <laughs> It's so <laughs> we can ship it back into Kubernetes. Yeah, I know. That's um, like we need we need we need to like reship it back in. We need to we need to figure out how to do that. Yeah. I, I I'm think, happy like, to submit a PR to do that. I was super sad that the file got copied around in Git and lost all my attributes. Yeah, oh my god, oh my yeah. gosh, girl. I have like folders I in there. It. <laughs> That was um, me the other day, like looking at like all these like whole directories of, of content that are now owned by somebody else. I was just like, oh, so yeah, you just feel like all your hard work is. Yeah, I was just like, oh, erased. my God. I, yeah, because now I got to like, you know, if I'm doing a resume, I'm not doing a resume, y'all. Anyway, but if I was like, you know, and you want to like link to your work, like now I have to like go into my Git history because like yeah. now it looks, like Bob, it looks like Bob did all yeah. my work. Yeah, 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 lovely. Yeah. So it's just like, anyway, let's we we can totally sob offline about that together because I also <laughs> agree that that is like <laughs> so. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so that's that's what that is. So if anyone wants to look at it, I really want Paris to look at it because I think you helped review the first one. So. And and I did not help review the next eighty iterations of it. <laughs> Because I think it might you have had 80. the spirit, the essence yeah. <laughs> of that document. <laughs> yep. I, th I think the coolest part is like coming back to something after you, like Carolyn, I had no idea you did the, the um, lay down the first doc for that. But like coming back to it later and seeing how it's evolved, are you like, oh, people are touching it. They're doing stuff. They like it. They're using oh, it. <laughs> I love that somebody else has decided to edit that and keep it going and keep it fresh. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm excited about that. I like donating things and having people care about them enough to work on them too. It may or may not look like that meme, that Spider-Man meme though, at this point where they're, where they're pointing at each other. Cause that's kind of how the doc reads now that a couple of our Kubernetes docs read like that, where they're like, no, you, no, you. And then you're like, which one though? Which one? So it's, it, so it's funny that like, our governance docs do that. <laughs> like, and of all the docs that you want, like a very specific idea of like what to look at first and what to do, it would be the governance docs. <laughs> and the only, I'm not saying that, we're, 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 no, we're not going to say it. anyway. Cut next, the recording. I know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's, it's, yeah, it's being worked on though, right? Yeah, so. Weird silence. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So one of the things I actually wanted to bring up just because it came up. So this came up when we were creating the content for the session. Um is do, 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 is that 
there's sort of multiple places you can look in the CNCF for what's required of projects at each level. And these multiple locations are not synced up. Yeah, this is um, so true. I mean, like this started with what you need to become a sandbox project and what's on the document in GitHub and what's on the form are different lists and what's in the head of the TOC members are um, nine individually different lists. Um, so um, I had a talk with, you know, I initially filed a PR assuming this had just been an omission from the form. And um, Liz was like, well, wait, no, that's not right. Um, and so now we have a much bigger to do item um, of, hey, we need to actually have somewhere a canonical source of what the complete requirements are um, for projects at each level. Um, and, um, um, and then that source should become the source of data for all other places where this is listed. Um, so in the TOC meeting, did you say anything about like a site and uh, any any other rallies rallies around that? No. I thought we got yeah. some thumbs up that that was they liked the idea. It was in yes. I mean that was issue? that was oh, wait that was in the previous month's meeting. Yep. And then, yeah. but any anything else as far as like resources or like any any folks to like help us out or because like the thing is the thing about the CNCF site right is it's not totally open source or is it now? Or because I don't like know a, it's like a it's like a yeah. WordPress thing a WordPress theme or something like I don't I don't remember. Um, but yeah, there was like some yeah no some this things. would not be yeah yeah this would not be going you know this would effectively be a completely separate site. Yeah, that, I thought we were getting we, a subdomain. Would be just Netlify. Yeah, what? We we're getting a subdomain on Netlify, and yeah, yeah, we could copy like fact, the contributors the, theme. I'm um, not. Yeah, the only the new contributor website theme. Yeah. Yeah. Well, then um, let's do it. Yeah, then we we can just yeah. let's we can advertise for it. Like I can we can start like getting on the horn. Um, maybe like put like a blog post out, almost kind of like a proposal of what we want to do, and see if anybody wants to help. What if uh -oh. someone who loves making websites and doing yes. Netlify just start something and then that's what we point people to when we start talking it up. So we're not trying to like jumpstart the Titanic here. That's wrong ship, but you know what I mean? <laughs> 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 like, let's just make it up first and people may just love I am, it. And I am so using that. I am so using that again. <laughs> Do it, yeah, do it. And who's <laughs> who's gonna stand it up? Is Carolyn? Is that you? Was that you? No, because well, I love making websites. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, no one I me to do it usually. I, um, I was yeah, like, I can't I mean, tell if that was sarcasm. I know, <laughs> it's same, same. <laughs> same. If we want to keep the existing theme and look of like the commit contributing, I forget the name of the site. You know what I mean? The, Where we made like the community yeah. site essentially, yep. and we published everything as a website. Um, if we want to just take that theme and use it, then I can start putting content in there and organizing it. We can just iterate on it. I mean, yeah. we, we no also have- Let's just make it. <laughs> yeah, we also Yeah, have... no, go ahead, for sure. So we also have the team to leverage if we need to, um, Celeste and, and Nate, who is new, um, but also working on websites, like they're, they've been working on the DEX website as well. Um, and there is a website template already, so. Yeah, I didn't know that I would see I didn't think that we had anybody that wanted to stand the, the stand the dang thing up. So that's why I was like, hold up. All right, let's uh -huh. get somebody to stand it up. Yeah. So all right, Carolyn's like, all right, I dig it. Yeah, hey. he's not de dot dev. That's what they finally called it. Yes. Yeah. We can just take that or yeah, take their site and take all the content out and make a new one. Did you say this yep. is a template stuff on or? Should I take uh, it from this? Yeah, hold on a sec. Um, okay. So Kubernetes probably wanna... has their own, but there is a CNCF template project for. Yeah, we have our own. We have a doxy one. Um, but yeah, it's in Kubernetes SIGs uh, slash contributor dash site if you want to fork that. Okay. Yeah, I've seen this one. 
Perfect. Stand it up. Woo, woo. Yeah. <laughs> it gives me something to do when it's like eight o'clock at night and I want to do hey, so. That's shoot. <laughs> Yeah, Aaron, I, you should have said that earlier. I would have been in your DMs. No, I'm saying. Oh my God. <laughs> I can't talk to you more, girl. You don't even know. I I'm know. Up Hold up. Oh God. Hold on. Hold on, Carolyn. I'm about to get home into your DMs so quick after yes. this call. <laughs> so this is the, a bit like the um so we had a uh, working group naming leads call just to like catch up because the meeting is monthly and we just ended the call with screaming <laughs> like the last part of the call which is like should we just you know scream <laughs> for a bit where is the thing you know, for a meeting that we all wanted to cancel and thought we had nothing to talk about, we're getting stuff done. I like it. Pew, pew, pew. Uh, right here. Uh, Carolyn, uh, boop. here's another one. Ah, perfect. Thanks. And that one is already templatified if you want Ooh. to use it. I know the, I know the Kubernetes one probably a lot more time was spent on it though so well you know i can i'm this is what i do is i just steal existing websites and frankenstein them into a new one so it's like good good my myspace <laughs> and i'm down with that that's why i tell people all the time i'm like why are we reinventing the wheel here like i i say that so, like, every day at least once <laughs> i'm like why <laughs> so i we love it yeah, we did. So like for the naming stuff, we did a panel um, to talk, to start talking about the inclusive naming initiative. And everyone on the panel was basically, I was like, I'm an engineer. I don't want to do things twice. Like, can we just lay down a framework that works for everyone and try to adopt it everywhere? And, and they're like, yeah, we don't want to do things twice. That's why we formed this thing. <laughs> the... Um... <clears throat> I have to keep up with you because we actually have an internal group at Red Hat, naming group at Red Hat now. Yes, um, we are. We are. We've connected with them. Um, okay. Bowen, last name. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. 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 We're already connected with them, so we've got we've got Red Hat, IBM, Cisco, VMware, um, yeah. Kubernetes naming, and so. working on standards bodies. So it's going to be a big, big old party. So at this point, I'm still just looking for and replacing master, slave, and whitelist, blacklist. So Did anybody pulled out anything else? That is that is the point that I feel like everyone is at, um, agreeing yeah. to. So with Kubernetes specifically, and, and probably a lot of other places, um, it's basically people, you have like, you have a, a set of people who are interested in making changes or and maybe new contributors come by and they're like, yes, let's make this change. I saw this issue is open and I started searching and replace, replacing everything. And you're like, oh, hold on, hold on. Don't do that yet because you just changed an API and we have an API deprecation policy, yada, 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 right? Uh, um, so yes, that one too. Um, so trying to figure out like the people who are ready to run but giving them a framework to run with so we landed the docs for um, basically like recommendation or uh, workflow um, and a template and a language evaluation framework um, to give people kind of like a starting uh, path. And then I think Aaron landed the first uh, thing using that uh, workflow or rather we have to review it, but it's it's master to control plane, right? And then we're gonna layer on top of that one um, like KeyBDM has some work in flight as well already, and they've started making changes on the website. So you know, it's going, it's going all right. I think it, the what's cool about the language evaluation framework is you start to look at um, orders of concern, right? They're, you know, so our first order concerns are like language that is very clearly um, causing harm, right? 
um, in some way, shape, or form, and uh, and eliminating it, biasing, biasing towards eliminating it as opposed to carrying on a thousand year discussion about it, right? Um, and then as you go down the the orders of concern, it kind of goes into, well, is the language ambiguous, right? Would would we be better served by making this less ambiguous, right? Um, so, so yeah, the I think we're starting to move into like we've identified a few things that are clearly like we don't want these, um, and then you know the next piece is like okay, we'll lay down the recommendations for them, execute on that, hand it off to the the code owners or the content owners, and the next piece for us is that you know finding people who are interested in doing the work now that some of it is better defined. And then also starting to think about those second and third order concerns that um, you know that are maybe a little bit more ambiguous, right? So, yeah, because I, well, the um, I, I just find it interesting that a lot of people have had all these naming groups and that sort of thing, and we're still currently only targeting the same four words. Um, yeah, that, that we identified <laughs> early on. The, um, yeah. And I'm like, there's got to be other stuff out there that's pissing somebody off. Um, oh, for sure, for yeah. sure. <laughs> the, I mean, my my personal in within our community, my 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 personal thing I'd like to get rid of is is pets versus cattle. But hmm. um, the um, which does there's... have a re religious offensiveness angle to it. But yes, yes, and and also because it's trivial, right? It's not nobody uses that in an API, so it's not like we're needing to have a deprecation process we can just replace the phrase the um the the pet set discussion is good there's an yeah. super old one from kubernetes oh yes well no that was the, it's like everybody's like why is this still pet set and i'm like because we forgot to rename it um <laughs> <laughs> we always we always had it on the roadmap that we was going to get a long-term name that was not going to be pet set and then we didn't priority um, that's long -term. how a lot of these things come around yes <laughs> <laughs> yes, it was like, oops, this is going to be 1.0 soon. We kind of need to rename it. The um... <laughs> then like minions was another one too. Right. Oh yes. Yeah. 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 The um. So. I kind of just want to. I need to start coming to your meetings to just listen, because this honestly, I already I feel like I learned a lot, and I just I'm just listening to like a podcast. Ooh. Um, so actually, the next naming meeting is uh, this Monday, or this coming Monday. All right, well, um, if you if you see like a phantom Paris with no video, that's just Paris is podcasting. Spooky Paris. <laughs> um, yeah, and then we have to figure out like how to schedule these, the larger uh, initiative calls, because that should be fun. <laughs> Cool. All right. So we want to do projects needing assistance. Well, we don't. We don't have anybody on the line. I actually didn't realize if I'd realized that Charles was on the line, I would have asked him to speak up earlier. Yeah, he. I was said, not paying attention. I was not paying attention to who was dialed in. He said a words. He said some yeah, words. Yeah. He chat. just said I'd be go. I mean, he's going to be mostly involved in the contributor growth working group. Yeah. 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 Um, big which time. Is great. I I love that. I mean, what I loved most about that conversation is we're like, hey, you know, okay, well, when when you're all set with that stuff, just like post it up on the mailing list, and we'll, you know, and we'll we'll do the tweets and the bloggy thing or the you know the face crams, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, and then they came back and you know sent something to the mailing list talking about uh, contributor growth, and we we're like, we have that, <laughs> like we have that, come come on down. Um, so it's nice to know that some of the ideas that um, or kind of generated from this group or having impact already, right? Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> That's good. The, um, okay, is there anything else? Mm. How are y'all doing? <laughs> I, it's been the longest ass week ever. 
them. I'm like, oh, right. We just switched to daylight savings. We just switched off daylight savings time on like Sunday. That was less than a week ago. How was that less than a week ago? It was like a kick in the teeth on top of everything else. Like I didn't need I, that. I was up the whole time and I was like, what just happened? I was, I was like, <laughs> like looking at your phone and then you're looking at the microwave and you're like, wait, when? Yes. <laughs> oh, is that today? Uh. <laughs> the, um, so yeah, the, um, I mean, actually I, I generally kind of like the week after switch back to standard time because I have all these early morning meetings. And so that's like one week where it's a little bit easier for me to get up for, for those early morning meetings, assuming those meetings are set in US time. If yeah. they're set on European time, it doesn't help me. So oh. on that note, I think I'm gonna call it a night. Sounds like we're finished. Yep. No, we're not. <laughs> no. Stay <I'm> forever. Not... <laughs> tonight's well, tonight's bonfire night in, in the UK, so it's Sky Fox Day. Um, but there's no fireworks because we're in lockdown. So I've I, but apparently like all of my neighbors are doing fireworks. I've been watching them out no the window. Fireworks. Also, you need to tell me you're not gonna set off any Roman candles, just like open, you know, open the window. Come on, don't like shoot about the window. Yeah. <laughs> 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 no, goes through the neighbor's window you're like oh i live i live in a block of flats i think these are people with like nice yards who are setting off fireworks but there's been loads of them so i'm gonna i'm gonna go drink Sean's some insurance time. company calls us tomorrow from watching the video <laughs> hi uh we just wanted to speak to you about a uh a claim that was made <laughs> oh. <laughs> nice seeing ya you too. Pleasure, everyone. Stay. Try to stay sane. See Looking you. Soon. Doom refreshing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> later. All right. Later. Bye, everybody.